are actually mathematical formulas in California statute. Now, most California statutes use plain language, but there are a number of instances of statutes among California's 29 codes that have often technical or scientific-based language. So I was looking through 2023 uh, legislative session bills that reached the governor's desk. The governor signed Senate Bill 343 as Chapter 213, and it actually includes some math formulas. So Section 3 of SB 343 added Section 4055 to the California Family Code in order to determine child support orders. And section 4055 actually contains a formula for making that determination. It basically says in subdivision A that the statewide uniform guideline for determining child support orders is as follows. CS, child support amount, equals K divided by HN minus in parens H percentage times TN uh, to get what the child support amount is. And so that formula is CS child support amount, K, the amount of both parents' income to be allocated for uh, child support. HN is the high earner in net monthly disposable income. H percentage is the approximate percentage of time that the high earner has or will have primary physical uh, responsibility for the child. TN is the total net monthly disposable income of both parties. And then K is the amount of both parents' income allocated for child support. And believe it or not, Section 4055 of the Family Code has even codified an example for using this particular formula. So they give a hypothetical in the actual Family Code. It says, for example... If H percent equals 20% and the total monthly net disposable income from the parents is 1,000, it goes through the formula. So, you know, we don't often see that kind of language in California statute, but not only can they contain uh, technical language, but they can even contain mathematical formulas and even some examples for solving those mathematical formulas provided in California statute.